Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's vlog. You wanna say hi? We are hanging out at home today. Today is Friday. Yay, now it's, oh, tomorrow the, is the Halloween party. Today is Friday. Tomorrow Riley's excited because we have a Halloween party. Um, but we're hanging out at home. We had no real plans today. So I figured why not just pick up the camera for a little bit. There's a lot of stuff that I could probably chat with you guys about and give you some updates on Jackson and just what we've been up to because... Hey, how about me? I want to be in the photo. You want to be in the photo? or It's not a photo. I mean, it's a video. I want to but be hang out with the kids too. with us. I also have an Old Navy order that I can share with you guys. I have like a little Old Navy haul of stuff that I got for the kids. Hey, Jackson. How are you? Oh, oh, you want the pretzels? You guys, I just got these pretzels and everybody's obsessed with them. Have you guys ever tried these? They're supposed to be, I think, like healthier for you pretzels because they're non-GMO, whole grain, sea salt, gluten-free. I got them from Thrive Market and they're you know, supposed to be healthier for you. Um, and Jackson is devouring them. <laughs> like the bag is actually not as big as I thought it was, so... He's devouring them and Riley is eating them too. And then Joe is also working from home and he comes every like two minutes over here to get more pretzels. Do you like those? Yeah. Are they crunchy or are they soft? They're crunchy. They're crunchy, yeah. How about you say, how's your day? How's your day? Say, happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's actually a very random time for me to pick up the camera. It's almost quiet time. So the kids are gonna be up for a few more minutes and I'm gonna put them to bed. This morning we did schoolwork, so we took care of our homeschool stuff. It would have been nice to take the kids somewhere today, but it was freezing this morning, so I was like not feeling it. And yesterday the kids had co-op, so yesterday they got to spend time outside running around. It was a beautiful day yesterday. So they got that yesterday, and then tomorrow we have the Halloween party, so I figured today would be okay if they stay home. Jackson, do you wanna show your friends your Paw Patrol blanket? Yeah? <laughs> yesterday I went to Target, and I got him this Paw Patrol blanket. You wanna put it on the floor so they can see it? I actually got to go to Target all by myself. Joe stayed home with the kids and it was nice to just browse. But of course, I saw this because he had mentioned the other day that he wanted a Paw Patrol blanket. So I found it and I got it for him. Dad, he was so excited. Who's your favorite? I actually got some like chapsticks. I got some chapsticks. You got some chapsticks? Yeah, I brought her home some princess chopsticks too. That are scented. Oh, they're scented. Got it. Since the kids are actually like cooperating right this second, I guess I'll tell you a little story about the library. I think I had mentioned in a vlog, um, I think I had mentioned to you guys, or maybe it was on Instagram, I'm not entirely sure, but I had gotten, you know how we check out tons of library books. Okay, so the other day we went to the library, I got this tiny little board book and it was already like colored in. Some child had colored on this book and I checked it out anyway because Jackson grabbed it and threw it in my bag and I was like, you really want this book? Like it looks atrocious, but whatever. So I checked it out. Then we returned it. Jackson didn't even read the book. And then a couple days later, I got an email saying like, oh, by the way, um, you have like an $8.99 charge on your library account because you returned a book that your kid colored in. I was like, it was not my child. It wasn't my child who, you know, colored in it, but okay, whatever, if I have to pay $8.99, whatever. So I disputed it, I like replied to them and I was like, I'm pretty confident that it was not my child that colored in it. So long story short, they removed that charge from my account. I went to the library and talked to them and they no. had removed it from my account. But now I feel like I have been put on like a freaking library watch list because now like I returned some books um, a couple days ago and sure enough, I got another email saying, oh, you returned a book that had wavy pages and there was a page that was torn. And they're like, so we can't use this book anymore and you have to pay $18.99 for this book. And I was like, are you serious? Like that book, I do believe that Jackson did like the wavy pages, but I mean, it was still a usable book. And I don't think that he was the one that tore the page. Like, again, we're checking out kids books and so when I check them out I don't go and look through every page to make sure that they're like pristine I'm just grabbing them and putting them in my bag so like who's to say that it is absolutely my kid who did that and I have to pay $18.99 for this book and I didn't even freaking like that book so I'm like so mad about it like I say it like as a joke like I'm not truly like losing sleep over it but I'm just annoyed because now I'm going to be going through each and every book before we check it out to make sure that I'm not going to get find because it's just like imagine we check out like 60 books every time we go to the library can you imagine if 
every time now I have to pay 20 bucks, I'm gonna stop going to the library because that's kind of crazy. So I think something happened. I think either, I don't know, the people there now have me on like a library. <laughs> library terrorist list or something and i am no longer going to be able to keep doing that or just be very extra careful and the kids are going to be allowed to only pick like five books at a time so random but that is the drama of my life and really if that's the extent of the drama in my life then i'm okay with it but yeah let me know if that's ever happened to you guys let me know if you guys have had issues with the library because i've always been so confident about using the library love it and then i have gotten plenty of messages from you guys saying like how do you keep your kids from tearing cages? And my kids have always been really good about that. Like Jackson, for the most part, does not destroy every book we check out. So I, I'm sure that that's an issue, but like certain things, I think they should be able to like continue having the book in the circulation. Like if there are pages missing, I get it. And I would be more than happy to pay for the book if you know my child tore the page and there's missing pages, I get it. But like if some of the pages are wavy, you know, like, Come on. For example, like Riley's over here with our stack of books. And this is a book that we literally haven't even read through because we just got it. And I just saw through the corner of my eye that there are some pages that look like this book is kind of like falling apart. And see, like this is falling apart. This was not my child. So if I return it, am I going to have to pay a million dollars for this book? Because that's going to make me angry. Hey, Riley, which books did you check out at the library? I checked out, like, I checked out the Spongebob book. A Spongebob book, really? That's the one you wanted? Yeah, because, Dad, do you know why Ryan Dada loves Spongebob? Really? And that one is called Moms Are the Best. So, that's yeah. a good book. So, they're, they're get together um, in the end of the book, see? So beautiful. I love it. So, Spongebob is happy. Wait, is that Spongebob's mom? Does Spongebob have a mom? Yeah. That's Spongebob's mom? Yeah. I didn't know that Spongebob had a mom. <laughs> Look at that. And her, and her, and His she, mother, does the mom have a name or is it just Spongebob's mom? I don't know what her name is, but her, he, also has a, he also has a dad. Really? Yeah. And what's his name? What does he look like? Do you know? Is he a square? Is he a rectangle? No, he, um, both of them are probably like ovals. Really? And Spongebob is a square, and do you know her, he has a grandma, too. Really? Yeah. See, I just, I don't know enough of Spongebob. I'm going to have to get caught up. And, and there's also, there's also Patrick, and he has a mom and dad, too. And there's also, a, like, in one of the shows, there is this, like, there is this, like, this is her, his, like, his sister and is the, he's this large Mama, what? is like this large Wait, what is that it's a ball he, he yeah, has like this a for ball 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 that's a pirate Let me, uh -huh. yeah. what we are home it's a random ball yeah yeah it's for Ellie. for everly yeah oh that's nice you're gonna give it to her but actually it's really hard so we're gonna hit her head with it oh that wouldn't be good right do we miss Everly? Yeah, I miss Everly. She's a cute baby. Yeah, she is a cute baby. This is the randomness of my life. Like, I can never complete a full conversation. Like, it was funny this morning. I was FaceTiming my girlfriend Chelsea with the one with the twins down in Miami. And her house just sounded just like my house. It was just loud screams. The kids were screaming. And, like, it's hard to concentrate. And you're trying to have a FaceTime conversation. But you can't hear half of the time. <laughs> It's just like, that's what it's like to have yeah, little kids these days. I've been trying to get some tips from her because she's been attempting to potty train her boys. And I'm kind of at the point where I'm starting to prepare Jackson for potty training, you guys. But I have like very little hope. Like as of right now, there have been a couple times where he kind of shows interest in like sitting on the potty. So I've put him in, you know how like we have the little cover over the toilet so that he can like sit on it and not like fall into the toilet. So I sit him on there. And he'll be like, yay, I did it. And he hasn't done anything. So I don't know that it's going to be like the easiest thing. Even though I remember Riley used to do that too. The first couple times that we tried like getting her introduced to the idea, we bought her the little toilet too. She'd be like, oh, I did it. And we'd be like, no, you did nothing. And you've been sitting there for hours. Jackson, are you going to do pee pee in the potty? No? Isn't it fun to do pee pee in the potty? And then you don't have to wear diapers anymore. Wouldn't that be good? Say yes. Pee pee in the potty. Yes. 
See, he's like not about it. He's like, thanks, I'm fine. Yeah, not a lot of luck or progress in terms of potty training yet, but I have to say that he has been doing so much better with his eating and I'm trying to not like jinx it over here. But like the last couple weeks I'd say, he's been just a little bit more adventurous, like with little things and things that I'm sure you guys are like, wow, really, he finally eats that? He's almost three. But like he just started eating um, spaghetti. So the other day we had dinner and I served him a little bit of spaghetti and I was like, this kid's not gonna touch it. He ended up asking for it for like five times. I think I mentioned that in the vlog, but spaghetti, he had a ton of the other night i made macaroni also and he ate the macaroni like these were big wins for us that i've just been so happy that little by little i see progress and like i've been making you know the bread that i make and i give that to the kids like all the time and they love the bread but the other day he saw us putting butter on it and he asked for butter and then he had some butter and he was like i love butter everyone loves butter so i will take that like gladly that makes me super happy and we haven't had a lot of progress in terms of like chicken or steak like the proteins but he will more often now eat his peanut butter sandwiches like I make him peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and there was a time where I'd make them and they would stay there and they would just go stale he wouldn't eat them um but he's been doing a lot better with and his I peanut butter sandwiches and Riley has been doing really well too I've got to say she's been a lot better about eating and she'll eat her peanut butter jelly sandwiches she eats consistently her chicken nuggets that I make her and then like for dinners like anytime that we have just grilled chicken or we have steak she'll have little pieces of steak of chicken and then the other day we even made tacos and she doesn't eat the whole like flour tortilla with the taco meat and the cheese but she'll have little pieces of the taco meat and like that's big for us and i also i also eat lots of peas and peas yeah they ate they both will eat sweet peas, which Riley's been eating sweet peas for a long time, but they'll both eat sweet peas, and they both tried broccoli the other night. Jackson, did you like broccoli? I love the broccoli the most. You have to give me that every season. You really like broccoli? Come tell your friends what it tastes like. It, it tastes like sweet for your body, but it tastes more healthier than ice cream or cupcakes. Yeah, it's healthier than ice cream or cupcakes, but is it crunchy? Is it soft? It's Jackson, come here. So yeah, I've been very pleased with that. It takes them 5,000 years, so I will say that. Like, the length of time that it takes at the dinner table is exhausting. I'm, like, constantly sharing on Instagram, like, just clips of me waiting ever so patiently for the kids to finish eating. It takes them forever. But I'll take my little wins in that they're actually eating some different foods. So that I had to report to you guys. Jackson also, he doesn't really want to be too much in the video right now. He's like distracted. He's watching TV. But he's been Me talking too. so much. Yeah, you two, you're watching TV. He's been talking so much. Like an explosion in his language, in his verbal communication skills, all of it. I'd say like in the last month. So he's about to be three. He's going to be three in December. And I'm going to be five in December. Yes, you're going to be five in December. But just the way that he's asking for things and, you know, he'll speak full sentences. He'll say, I like this truck or this truck is upstairs. Like, he's talking so much. And to see him talking with Riley and they communicate, they fight all the time, but they communicate. It's been super, super good. Jackson, what are you drinking? A what? The animals? They love those animals. That's like one of the few things that they'll devour. Oh, Is that I, it? Where does it go? Can I show them how I chicken with they, they like yeah. their you're eyes. gonna Yes. You're going to put it right there? Yeah. Okay. I just hey, Jackson, come. Look. Tell me, are you full or are you still hungry? You're full now. You're full now? His latest thing he'll tell me is that he's bored. Are you bored? Mm. Are you happy? There's nothing else in there, Jackson. You just put it down. You got a little more? How do you say a little more? Wow, what flavor is that? Puffy. Strawberry? Yeah. Hey Jackson, are you ready to take a little nap? Runs away. Anyway, before I take the kids up for quiet time, let me just show you the stuff that I got from Old Navy. And I'll have everything linked for you guys in case you're shopping. I hope when I post this or sometime in the near future there will be a sale. Never, never pay full price for something 
I don't navy like it's just it's dumb to do that like they always have good sales just kind of hold on and like wait like a week if that until they have a good sale but I got Jackson these little I don't know that they're considered snow boots but you know boots that he can wear in the fall and when it's really cold and they are so cozy inside so the whole shoe is sharp aligned and then it you know undoes here like on the side so you can slip them in so I got Jackson a size 8 he's already a size 8 in shoes I think he's more like a size 7 but in boots since he's gonna be wearing socks and stuff I get him a little bit bigger of a of a size especially since his foot is growing so quick I don't want him to like outgrow them already so I got him those let me turn off Blippi because they're not even watching it and I don't need him in the background so for Jackson I also got him this basic black like little thermal layering tee there's like specks of like just fabric all over it but it's just solid black and then it's got a little pocket here I got him the same one in like a really pretty orangey color and he wore that the other day and it's even super cute it's got like these Again, this is gonna be hard to show you in the black color but it's got like an almost like a little detail on the elbow so I got him that I'm gonna take all this stuff to their room and put it away now and then I got him this hoodie which is really cute and then it's got like a really pretty detail on the bottom super cozy very stretchy so I got him that I got him this dino tee just like one of those basic long sleeve tees but I like that it was dinosaur without being obnoxious and like all of ugly colors. And then I also got him this. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten him. I got him this super cozy Sherpa sweater. So I got him in a 3T. I think at this point, most of the stuff that I got for Jackson or I'm getting Jackson is in a 3T, but it's so cozy. It zips up and it's just something that he can throw on when it's cold. And then the last thing I got for him was this, I don't know if you want to call it a sweater or a zip up shirt. Got him that. And then for Riley, I got her a little swing dress, really pretty, like this color. And then this is a set. This was a top that goes with the matching bottom. It's a really pretty lightweight set that has the lettuce trim. So that is the top and then this is the bottom. And these are just the best for traveling and you know, just when I don't feel like figuring out what she's gonna wear, she has a lot of matching sets. Same reason why I got her this one. This is a matching set too. It comes with the top and it comes with the matching joggers. But the top is really pretty because it's got all this detail. It's got ruffle sleeves. And then it's like this quilted, you know, pattern. I got her also just a basic long sleeve layering tee. And then I got her tights because for church, when we go to church, she wants to wear dresses, but it's been really cold lately. So now she has some tights that she can put under her dresses. And then she can pair them with her boots and she'll be fine to wear those. And then this sweater was super cute too. Like I actually want a matching one because I think it'd be so cute. But it's a gray little oversized sweater. I think she'll look cute in that. And then this is not from Old Navy. This is from Target. I had to go return it yesterday because I had bought it online, but it was too small. So I got a bigger size for her. So I'm also gonna put this in her room. The coziest little Sherpa sweater too. I have mixed feelings about the fact that now at Target, there's some things that Riley can still wear from like the toddler section, but then she also fits into stuff from like the big girl section. And sometimes the stuff in the big girl section is really cute. So I get excited when I find stuff like that. Cause I like her to wear like a lot of like the oversized sweaters. So like this one, this is perfect. It also makes me really sad every time that I go there because I'm like, man, like I now have a big girl. The big girl section and you know all the feelings that come with that and the emotions of the fact that she's gonna be freaking five in december and i'm like five years of my life how did that fly by so fast can't continue with this conversation because i'm gonna get emotional but yeah that is the clothes that i got for them i'm gonna go put it in their room what is happening here what is this game this is drop drop swamp no oh excellent game so, so you, explain the game to me. So you put the fire truck on something and then you try um, letting it control, but you don't want to land into the swamp. So what's the swamp, the pillow or the floor? The pillow is the swamp because it's brown. Oh, okay. Jackson, can you explain why you have a sticker on your head? No, me. Who put that sticker on you? I did. Right? <laughs> and, oh. and, and if you land in the swamp, you get less points. Interesting. So someone has to catch the fire truck. See, this is what happens when I leave them alone for two seconds while I put away that clothes. I come back and they've invented some game, which I guess is good for them. It's good for them to be creative and invent these Three, kinds of two, things. One, go. And they weren't screaming or trying to kill each other, so that's good. Go. Go. You gotta go the other way, Jackson. Go. That is the um, remote control car 
that I've shared a thousand times here on the channel. One of the kids' favorite toys, it was like $9.99 for a set of two at Walmart. Like the best $10 I've ever spent in my life there. Jackson, what are you doing? Who are you playing with? But who are you playing with? With Riley? Yeah. Yeah? Is she nice or is she naughty? Nice. She's nice right now? That's good. What? I do not have stinky toes. Jackson, what is so funny? This is time. This game? Yeah. You like it? You guys are being silly. Whatever, this is the most random thing that they are playing. Out of all of the toys that I put out, this is what they want to play. Swamp. Jump into a swamp game. Oh man! Are you trying to get it in the basket? No, is that what you're trying to do? You no, know, we're trying to catch it. You're trying to catch it in that basket. No. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you're silly. Anyway, last thing I wanted to chat about before I leave, and let me just move so that he doesn't hear me too much. Uh, so I wanted to ask you guys about like napping situation so Jackson has gotten to a point now too where he's starting to really fight his nap he's starting to really fight anytime that I tell him that we're gonna do a nap or even bedtime has been hard like he'll sleep for the most part through the night but the put down I'm starting to get the no mama don't leave again now that he can communicate more exactly what he wants is mama don't leave sing another song I'm thirsty like he tries to procrastinate or ask me for literally anything I want chase I want I want my cars that are in Riley's room and does this for like 15 minutes every time that I'm gonna go put him down and it is the most exhausting oh. thing ever because I'm like Jackson that's it I already read you your books you know send you 15 songs it's bedtime now and he keeps like going no don't leave turn on my light I want a different color on my light because we have the little hatch sound machine thing so it makes me change the colors like all of the things to leave his room <laughs> cost me like 30 minutes of my life every time so let me know if that's something that's normal or something that you know you guys are also dealing with but it's been rough and like some days i'm just like i don't know what to do if i leave without attending to his request he literally just screams and cries and i really don't want to hear it and so it's just been rough in that world and then the same thing with the naps like he's starting to fight it and I still need him no. to do quiet time. Ideally, he would still take a nap because he is really no. tired. So I'm still putting him in there, whether he naps or not. He We're still sleeping. goes into his crib and he's there for a little while. Just like Riley, you know, Riley's different because she gets her iPad during quiet time. And I don't expect her to nap anymore unless she's like super tired. But Jackson, I'd, I'd like for him to still nap. But at what point did your kids drop their naps? Um, let me know. Like again, he's only doing the one nap a day, but at what point are they non-existent anymore? I'm sure as we approach three, that's very common, but I'm just like trying to hold on to it as long as I possibly can. This, by the way, random in the background, this was a Joseph Buell purchase. Um, <laughs> this was something that Joe went on Amazon and bought so that the kids could decorate decorate and paint this barn so that's been the kids project this week is coloring and then Riley gets mad because Jackson doesn't color inside the lines and she's trying to do it perfect so then I think she commissioned him to paint the inside I think she was like Jackson how about you paint the inside and so he's got the inside of the doors and her iPads in there we've got like a whole collection of things in here what is what is all of that stuff there Riley that's for entertainment oh for entertainment you've got 5,000 books a pillow Mama. some oh there are some of your toys i'm like why are we missing toys Mama. for the toy shelf they are inside Mama. the barn yes Mama. jackson yes look, look. what look. what are you showing me it went in that basket yeah wow hey what color is that fire truck it's red and is your fire truck big or small? Beep. It's kind of big. How does the fire truck go? Beep, 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 beep. Riley, what do you think about Jackson? And like when I put him down for bed and he's not really behaving, what happens? I, I get mad when it, in his, when it's nighttime when he cries and, I, and I'm trying to go to sleep and he wakes me up some, sometimes. Really? Is he that loud? Yeah, he's really loud when he cries, but... 
Sometimes I go to bed a little bit early than usual, but sometimes Jackson sleeps better than hey. I think, so. And then I go to bed, and then the next time I notice that he's crying again, and I try to, in the, in the next morning, I wake up and I go to his room when he's crying, and I just entertain him until you're coming in my room. But then, like, but, but every time and every single night, one night, um, Jackson was crying and I was trying to cover my ears. And then, um, um, one time I noticed that he stopped and then, and then I was like, okay, it's perfect. And then he, it was not perfect. He kept crying. <laughs> really? And so in the morning when you go to get Jackson, um, how do you entertain him? I entertain him by talking, sometimes reading books. It's really nice of you to entertain him. Yeah, before you come in, because I don't really want him crying all day. Well, that's a very nice thing that you do as a big sister. Yeah. That's honestly the newest, newest thing, is that now in the morning, I'm still sleeping in bed. I don't get up before the kids. I'm trying to change that, but it's a fail right now. Okay, so I'm pretty much woken up by either the kids crying or like by eight o'clock, my body normally like will wake up. But there have been some mornings that I wake up and I'm like, why is like no one screaming for me? Like what's going on? And I check the monitor and sure enough, Riley is inside of the crib with Jackson. So she has opened the door, gone into his room and is sitting there entertaining her brother until I wake up and go get them, which is the sweetest thing. And like this morning they were cuddling in bed together. It was adorable. Um, so yeah, she's been my little helper, which that I've, I've appreciated. I just don't want her going in there. Like sometimes he'll start crying um, when he's napping. Like he'll do like a short 30 minute nap and sometimes he'll continue the nap for another half hour and sometimes she'll hear it and then she goes in like to go and entertain him. And I'm like, wait, wait, he would have gone back down. So we're working on that, but that's been <laughs> the latest. Well, Jackson, what are you doing over there? Look, Riley, he's playing with your game that you set up. This was so Riley's craft. She painted this, whatever, this paper towel roll man. And then she got cotton balls so that Jackson can put them through. Is that fun? Yeah. How do we count? Let's count them when we put them in, okay? All right. Let's count. One. What happened? What? Did, did it get stuck in there? What happened? All right, let's try again. Let's count. One. What? One. What comes after one? Two are forever. Forever. Two. What comes after two? Oh, he's eating it. Yeah. What comes after two? Why are they getting stuck? What comes after one? Oh, he's eating it. Yeah, he's eating it. I like food. Yes, this is food. You see it? There. Okay, we made them smaller. Let's see if this will work. Okay? We gotta count them, okay? One. One. Good. Now what comes after one? One. Then? For each. Yeah. yeah, he ate it. Now it's number? Two. Two. <laughs> then is number? Five. No, three. Three. Oh. One. Two. Anyway, yes, this is my life. This is what 
I am doing today. I'm putting cotton balls through freaking toilet paper roll and trying to get my kid to count and sing the ABCs. So I'm gonna go put them to bed now. It is quiet time, but thanks for just hanging out with me for a little while. Just, it's like you're almost like on FaceTime with me just seeing the craziness of my life. So I love you guys. I'll see you in the next vlog. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.